Hi, my name is Nick Kondianis and I'm the Director of People and Culture here at Wellways and my pronouns are she, her. And I'm Nikki Wynn, the Director of Services and my pronouns are she, her. And together we want to share with you some reflections from 2022. We can't tell you all of our achievements, but stick with us and here are a few. But first, let's start as we always do, with an acknowledgement to country. I'd like to pay my respects to the land we're standing on here today, that of the Wurundjeri and Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. I'd like to pay my respects to Elders past and present, those emerging, and commit wellways to the work of reconciliation into the future. People are at the core of what we do, and here are some of the highlights for you. 2022, like the previous year, challenged us with the pandemic and how we worked with each other and with our participants. Nikki, it's so great to see people coming back to the office, isn't it, and just connecting and, and working together again. And now we have more work with more people in more places. And here's an example, a yana yana, or step by step. This is a prevention and recovery care service for women who can come and bring their children to on their mental health recovery journey. Yana Yana Park is a true testament to the benefit of partnerships between clinical and non-government services and works and showcases the very essence of what Victoria's Royal Commission into Mental Health has been asking us to do, to partner for better services. And Nikki, what a safe and incredible place Yana Yana is. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the former employees of Wellways who through our restructure of the NDIS services last year um, left us and to welcome new employees that we've engaged with over the last couple of months. Earlier this year, we'd, we conducted an engagement survey with our people. It was called My Voice Survey. And through this survey, we got to hear people's experiences of working at Wellways, what we do really well and what we need to improve on. And here are some of the stats for you to know who works here at Wellways. Approximately 75% of our workforce are female, 24 male, and over 1% identify as non-binary or transgender. 6% of our people identify as First Nations. Over 16% of our workforce identify with the LGBTIQ plus communities. And over 13% of our staff live with a disability. The My Voice survey also told us that people live and breathe our values. Most of our staff are proud that they can come to work and bring their whole selves. And for us, from a diversity perspective, that is gold. What a year of action it has been. Not only have we been battling the pandemic and the rising mental health crisis across the nation, but we've also been inundated by floods. We know that many people have been affected, both our staff and participants in Lismore and in Grafton, and more recently those in Western New South Wales and in Victoria. Hearing stories about what our staff have gone through and our participants and how you were able to help is fantastic. And I think as part of our commitment to our employees, we also know that there's an issue with the gender pay equity. Here at Wellways, the leadership team have made a conscious decision to help bridge that gap. And so our first step in that space is to pay our staff who are on parental leave, be it paid or unpaid, top up superannuation payments so that we can help start to bridge that gap for our people. It's an important piece of work and it's part of our value piece to our employees. I'm also pleased to say that we are investing in our future and part of that was launching the Peer Cadet Program earlier this year. Tapping into a new resource, a new workforce and developing them using their lived experience and leveraging that learning in the workplace. We don't know what next year will bring, but if you'd like to find out more about the services that we have here at Wellways or you were interested in working with us, visit us at wellways.org. <laughs>